Game day, Dog Nation. I'm meteorologist Ansley Parker here with UGASports.com. Starting with temperatures over in Kentucky as the dogs get ready to take on the Wildcats over in Lexington at the start of game time. It's just going to be 35 degrees. So really chilly at the start of game time. And as the game progresses, it's going to cool down to about 31 by the end of the game. So still going to be really cold by the end of the game. And as we head throughout Saturday night and into Sunday morning, still going to be chilly 20 degrees by 7 a.m. tomorrow in Lexington. So it's going to be chilly. What about over in Athens? It's going to be a little bit warmer, 55 degrees at the start of game time. You may see a couple of high clouds out there today, but by the end of game time, only going to be about 48 degrees. So again, not quite as cold as Lexington, but as we head into Sunday morning, it's going to cool down quite a bit. It's going to be about 36 degrees by Sunday morning. So still going to be just a chilly weekend here in Athens as well. If you're heading out to the game in Kentucky, make sure you bundle up and make sure to follow both PJ and I for the rest of the day to stay updated. Zero Carbs Beer is here. Introducing Bud Light next. Zero carbs, 80 calories. Super crisp light beer. Bud Light next. Brewed for what's next. Hello and welcome to the UGA Sports Watch Along Show. That's the head coach, Jim Donna. I'm Dane Young. We are both warmer than Rodney Nabolsi, who is on the sidelines doing his photography thing for Georgia and Kentucky. We were just watching Michigan survive. We just watched TCU survive. We're hoping Georgia doesn't need a field goal at the end in this game to do what it needs to do, but this is a squirrely little week already. Yeah, I mean, when you, when you look at these games, it makes you wonder a little bit, but at the same time, I know what this team's made of, and I know the way we prepare. Uh, you know, Illinois is a good team. I mean, they, they've had a good year all year, and uh, certainly uh, Baylor at home is really good. So uh, really good execution by both of them, getting that last-minute field goal, but Let's talk about the dogs today. I think uh, certainly uh, a more conventional type game plan that we're going against with Kentucky with our power running game, play action pass fits into our defensive structure. And then our offense is set up to run the ball against a base front like they run. They don't do a lot of blitzing. Uh, their coordinator came from the Indianapolis Colts, the defensive coordinator. They're more of a 3 5 type defense uh, based like the pro, I mean, a three, four, like the pros, not a, I've said three, five so much last week. I can't yeah. even remember it, but, uh, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, uh, just the, the games on the line here. Everything's there for Georgia. I mean, you look at the way the seedings can happen and uh, you can control your own destiny and uh, we're going to get a good shot out of these guys. There's no question about it. They're fired up and, but they don't realize what they're going against either. So uh it's going to be a little bit cold, but uh, like Roddy was talking to me last week uh, when we were here, when you were down there, he said, well, at least we're getting some practice in the cold because yeah. it, you were down there last week. And uh, I know you mentioned how cold it was in, uh, in Stark, Stark Vegas, but up here, I think it's even colder. But the sun will help a little bit the first half and then probably go down pretty quickly. But uh, I'm not going to predict anything here except that uh, – our preparation's been good. We're fairly healthy. A.D. Mitchell still not uh, playing for us. Uh, but other than that, you know, I feel good about um, our squad that we got up there. How about you? Yeah, I, I think Georgia matches up very well with Kentucky. Kentucky's offensive line has been a staple in this league for the last couple of years where it's just a strength, one of the best units in the league, and they've just been so porous this season. Yeah, I mean, they're last in the nation in giving up sacks. They've given up more sacks than anybody in the country, um, and they've uh, been very poor in the red zone too. Missed a lot of field goals, had some, they've had five kicks blocked. Uh, just atypical of a Mark Stoops team, you know, one that makes mistakes, but uh, – the one thing that just sticks vividly in my mind that, that Kirby Smart said uh, when we played Tennessee, uh, hey, this team went to overtime against a team that that uh, lost to Georgia Tech. And this team right here lost to Vanderbilt and South Carolina at home. So let's don't make them something they're not. Let's respect them. But 
hey, let's go out there and do our, our duty here. And we're certainly glad to have our sponsors today. And I, I, that's one thing that you're better at than me. So uh, we're really happy to have uh, the three sponsors we have. Well, let's just set it up here where if this is your first time watching this one, thanks for doing that. Subscribe to us on this YouTube channel. Like us over on Facebook if that's where you're watching. What this is, is we have Georgia versus Kentucky in front of us, just like you do at home. And then on your second screen, whether it's your tablet or your phone, wherever you look at a different screen other than the game itself, that's when you can get our commentary. You'll see the game clock on the screen here in just a minute, and you can help sync it up. And, and we are not able to do this if it's not for our loyal partners. That's Athens Ford, Yancey Brothers, and then also Bud Light Next, which we'll I about all of those throughout the show. Uh, let's just start that with Yancey Brothers in this nifty bag here. So Yancey rents. Uh, we'll put the uh, website link up here in just a few minutes. But Yancey, get some equipment rented out for whatever project that you're working on. Uh, you do it all over the state, and they've been with us uh, all season long. I'm really excited that they're back with us. This is a nice bag here. I know you're doing a little Thanksgiving travel. You two, to... That's a tool bag, man. That's a good tool bag there. But, hey, it uh, looks like Georgia won the toss and uh, deferred. So, uh First time in several weeks that we've actually uh, won the toss. We're going to be kicking off 38 degree weather, a little windy now. Uh, 16, you know, that stadium is windy. I mean, every time I ever played in it, it feels like uh, you're playing out in Oklahoma. So uh, let, let's see how we cover these kicks uh, poorly last week on the punt coverage team and poor on the kickoff return. We've worked really hard on our special teams. Uh, hopefully, uh, that's an edge that Kentucky has got to try to get, you know, win, win some uh, hidden yardage. You can see the way the wind's blowing, the fact that you got to hold it on the, on the kickoff. kickoff tee. But uh, this brown kid, number two, is really fast, so let's be aware of him. Cody Lachance with a really good comment here. He says, it looks like a home game for the dogs. Glad Dog Nation showed up. About maybe 40% of the stadium's in red and black, from what I can tell. Got a break here if you can get him down. Did you call me a tool bag earlier? Is that what happened? What? <laughs> I said that is a tool bag. I know what you said. What happened there? Well, I guess me with him? He caught a fair catch. Did he mean to? Oh, I don't think he meant. Well, if he did, he's getting it on the 25. That's a look. Georgia getting another CBS game of the week. Not many choices in the conference this week, though we should mention. Uh, anchor down, Coach. Vanderbilt over to Gators. Love those Gators uh, on the road. <laughs> Nothing good about uh Nothing good about being six and six in your first year because they got to play Florida State next week. And Florida so, State's hot right now. So now it looks like they might have called it down, which is a good break for us here. So what they're saying is he called for the fair catch, and so it you got to you got to catch it, I guess, if you call it. Yeah. <laughs> Stoops looks confused about it. Too bad there, Mark. Basketball school. <laughs> uh. Hey, Georgia men are three and zero to start. Three and one. They lost to Wake Forest. That's right. That, I forgot that road game. Still. Yeah, lump dog. We'll get the clock up here when when we can. Like right now. Is Gene there? He travels to the college game. I didn't know that. I thought he was always uh, in the studio, but uh, he I guess they got him on site. We got to wait for the argument here. Oh, now they're going to – this is the earliest review I've ever seen in a game. You know, if you raise your hand, it's a fair catch. If you'd have hit the guy, it would have been a penalty. I don't think he meant to raise his hand. I mean, it was not blatant or apparent. Probably didn't. Let's ask him. Did you mean to? <laughs> yeah. I don't think the referees can judge that at this point, but I'm saying 
I don't think he intended to do that. Did you ever watch Carol? Well, that was before you were born. Did you ever watch Carol Burnett? I I was in a room and it was being watched on reruns. That one girl would say, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so he's sorry. Looking for some final scores here while we wait. Uh, we mentioned Florida State. They beat Louisiana 49 to 17. Navy beats UCF. That's a ranked win. Yeah, for Navy. that was a good win for Navy. I watched last quarter. Uh, Navy's hard to get the ball away from. I saw Plumley. Did he get injured? Uh, I don't know. First half he was playing, and then the fourth quarter, uh, I was flipping it back and forth. Navy had the ball the whole So this is a really good start for Georgia because Kentucky's. Hey, you can up. keep arguing about it, Mark, but it's too bad. Let's go. Let's get them. Yeah, you're right. It is. It can be much better. Start. <laughs> Kentucky's backed up. They lose a timeout. They don't have a challenge. Well, I just as soon fumble in the end zone here too. I mean, we need a good start on the road. Good to see Javon Bullard in there. See a lot of sleeves out there for Georgia. The tackling. Wow. Pops. The one thing that we talked about on our uh, podcast this week is this is a power team, but also the fast, quick reaction of Georgia's defense is going to be very evident today, open field. I just think we'll be able to swarm this guy. Plus, uh, we can go on their misdirection pretty good. So, uh, right here, if I'm with their protection, I'd take a deep shot here. What do you got to lose? Because you're halfway playing to punt anyway, right? Well, that ain't going to be nothing there. So, in these... Carter knocked the guy back. Look at that. And these down in distance, I guess how do you make sure you don't draw a PI here somehow? Because if yeah. they take a shot one on one, they're in motion. Like you always worry about that, but at the same time, uh, you basically if you don't get it out of there and make a first down, you're giving the ball to Georgia on their side of the field and you lost the possession. Here's that future first round pick, Will Levis. I know you've always said you didn't think he was, but there's hard to come by a guy that big and physical. They don't go so much on your results as much as your potential. I mean, if they did, they'd be looking at Stetson harder. I'm just saying, I saw executive pick Mitch, uh, Mitch Trubisky over to Sean Watson, and that told me people did not watch college football. Taking a shot. Oh, Unbelievable. That ball. Wow. Unbelievable that you let them do that. And that's Ringo, too. God knows. Why do you play man coverage there? That changed the whole game. It's a good pass. Wow. Holy moly. Poor call by us there. So what should a Ringo have done differently? Well, he should have redirected quicker. But really, I, I don't play man coverage on third and 15. Backed up. Now they got a little jinniger. Yep. So it's going to be second and one here. Can't stand there, Bill. You got to close. We're going to get their best shot today. We had a chance to get after them and big play there. That's a big play. We had the ball for three minutes already. First down.
like Rodriguez has played for Kentucky for about 10 years yeah, now. Yeah, yes. Got to forget about that first down and just get them off the field here, boys. This is this is their game plan here. If you can keep the ball five or six minutes and get some stops, I mean, that's the way to play against us. Pull back. Not much incentive for Kentucky to pass so far, other than that one play. That stadium looks about half and half from that angle. Put McLean in there. He's more of a pass catcher out of the backfield. Second. We're playing pretty vanilla look here. Went in front of Tresman Marshall there. Catch and throw by Levis. Good job. No pressure whatsoever. Look, like he was reading Ryan Davis and just kind of threw behind him. Yeah, we had a one-man blitz there with a linebacker. This is a nightmare I was worried about. They were at their three-yard line and the now no, I sudden, mean, just keep the ball. I mean, your possessions. We got the wind. It's a run to the left. Pitch out flanking us. Georgia better get your ass in gear here, boys. These guys have come to play. Watch this. I mean, they just let that one guy go inside and pitched outside of him and cracked the backer. Do you see that? I mean, we didn't have any run support. Good game plan. Fake the toss. That's pretty lucky right there. Good waste down by them. They're going to go quick on us. Third and one, I wouldn't be surprised to see. Watch. You can see Levis keeping it here. Yep, I was going to say quarterback run. See, his passes like that, then I'm like, I, I don't know what people see in him. Yeah, he's just trying to throw it away. Tackle. Oh, they got him. Good play there from Smile Munden. You know, we had talked about Georgia being so different with Jalen Carter back in the last few weeks. Munden's resurgence has been so helpful, too. Yeah, he's, he's a good backer for us. I mean, he shouldn't make this play. Nobody blocked him, but <laughs> lost yardage plays are critical. On, I, I think they got a good spot here. If I'm, if I'm these guys right here, I go for a touchdown here. That's a long yard. Got him. All right, Georgia. It's a good defensive stand. Good play by Mikhail Williams coming across. Well, they're going to take a timeout here. So when they do, tell us about whoever you want to. But that's, watch Mikhail Williams penetrate here. Mikhail. Maybe they won't. There we go. You hear the drum beat coming. Uh, I, I want to tell you about our friends over at Athens Ford, and they have been sponsors of a ton of things at UGASports.com, but especially this watch-along show. They've been doing it for quite a while. I'm going to bring it to their website here so you can see it as well. Athens Ford, one, they're doing um, multiple benefits right now around the holiday season, the Salvation Army and Toys for Tots, so you can support them supporting those organizations, but also uh, if I, I've never understood the people that like somehow buy a car and then put the bow on it in the commercials, you know, but if you want to, as a family decision, get a new car, maybe you have a 15 year old, 16 year old, and this would be uh, a way that you can get them on the road for uh, that, that time of life. 
234 vehicles currently available at Athens Ford. And you got to go check out their Christmas setup over there. They have a UGA Christmas tree. And it's one of my favorite things to see in the Athens area because, you know, all the, the Chick-fil-A nearby with all the lights there, just a good Christmas setup. Um, did, did you ever put up Christmas trees before Thanksgiving or is it always after? <laughs> I don't really remember. I was coaching ball. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess that's a question for, for folks in your family uh, over the time. I'll tell you, ours went up today. Congratulations. Your <laughs> kids probably loved that, didn't they? They did. Ours went up today, and uh, it's because we're traveling for Thanksgiving, and so we didn't know if we'd have time when we get back for it. Because I'll get back, and I'll be back over here for Georgia, right. and Georgia Tech. I'll be here, too, we, next week. So, uh, But... Uh, just that, that's what we're going to see out of uh, this Kentucky team. That big play was huge field position, but really I'm just glad to get out without any points on that drive. I mean, maybe get your defense's attention a little bit here now. Uh, Here's Stetson Bennett. I'm going to say Heisman contender Stetson Bennett. Yeah, he has another big game. He will be. We got the wind behind us right here. Common crew in there starting. I can see a lot of two tight ends today. Uh, there's two in there right now, Washington and uh, Bowers. McIntosh starts the game as normal. Tight ends go. There's that trips formation over there with McConkie and the tight ends. <sighs> Little wrinkle there running reverse fake with uh, Bowers after the handoff. I wish he'd have had it then. <laughs> Can't waste any possessions here. I mean, uh, Kentucky's come to play. I think you have to use Bennett's legs in this game. Vanderbilt yeah. showed you how that can be so beneficial. Pop pass McConkey. Turn it up. Good. He's been good for two or three weeks, especially. Go fast right here. I bet we go fast. Pretty good blocking there. McClendon saw the guy go inside and went back out. That was a good move by him. Really? No need to chase somebody. Darnell Washington on the right side of the formation. Bowers on the left. Dejan Edwards. Didn't get as much push there. We're already halfway very, the first very quarter. solid uh, zone team here. They're not, they're not real good at uh, causing a lot of shortage plays, but they don't give up a lot of easy scores. But I was hoping we could run good enough to hit some of these play actions, but uh, might have a chance to hit Bowers in the seam here. That's Dylan Bell in the game now. Good screen. Keep it, Stetson. Get up and go. Let's go fast. Tate Ratledge is not in there. It's Trussin Willock. You got him. God, the wind him. blew that one. God, you had him. You faked the quick screen and had the Washington out. You can't miss that one. Got to remember, throw it on a line in the wind. Don't throw it up in there. Look at this. <laughs> Leave your feet. Boy, that's too bad right there. 
on what's what's up, Ratledge. Did he not start the game either? That's a good run, Kenny. Wow. This is such a patient run and then a powerful run. Kyrus this Jackson is where he likes to hit Kyrus in the hole. There he goes. Cross the formation in motion. They don't have the answer on the split inside here. They're overplaying the field, but we're getting some good movement on. See the zone box there? Mm -hmm. Stay with him, Brock. See that guy come off him there? He's hot. Keep him in there. And he goes to the sideline. Dejan Edwards back in the game. This could be a counter play out of the... Good job on the... Good job on the motion there, settling up the end. You see how McIntosh... We're moving the formation around... Watch the motion guy go out there and then, a the, hey, good stalemate there. Willock. You mentioned that's a good call by you, uh, Willock, 77 in for Rattledge. You know, he's had turf toe. I, I hadn't heard about him missing all week. but uh, George is coming out and running very successfully to start. Five minutes left here in the first quarter. Hmm. That was ugly right there. All right, let's put that quarterback in in vogue here. Safety blitz. <laughs> we blocked it pretty good, but safety came running through the A-gap. Really unbelievable how fast this game's going. Is it difficult for a guy like Willock, who's primarily played left guard, to jump over to right? No, he's, it's a little different, but it's not. He's just glad to be in the game, really. Uh, they did fake. Fake the cameraman out. Yep. He covered that pretty good. It's one of our best plays. I, he ought to cover it. I just don't like Dylan Bell being the personnel on that one. <sighs> well, he's already caught one today. You know, uh, one's been hurt a little bit, but. Bowers back on the field here. Run it, Stat. Run it. Well, probably committed that a little too late. They covered it. Just some unfortunate timing there when Bowers was slightly open on his break. Stetson just didn't have his body oriented to throw it. Yep. Because he was escaping pressure. Well, we missed the touchdown pass to Washington. That would have been a t too bad. Got a bad snap. Hold, I mean, wow. That's Woo! <laughs> Way to get it up there. Man, this, things aren't going our way right now. Good job by Bennett. That's why you got him holding. Woo! Wow. So Georgia takes a three to nothing lead. I'll take it. Which you should take if you want to enjoy this game day, but maybe do it in a way where you're not going to feel so bloated is Bud Light Next. So it is, you see it up here, zero carbs in Bud Light Next. And we need to just give a shout out to Leon Farmer 
who uh, his team in Athens that distribute Bud Light next to the, all the area places where you would buy it. Uh, they've just been longtime supporters of this show, but especially you and just everything you've been involved with in Athens, Coach. For sure. And uh, Leon Farmer and Marilyn Farmer, uh, Leon's sister, everybody, uh, just great supporters, UGA and the Athens community. Uh, but, uh, you know, one of the things we don't have today is Roddy pounding those necks. To, uh, <laughs> I don't know if he's sitting up, up on the sideline, but uh, certainly last year we – Focused in on the uh, it was the Bud Light Seltzers, Seltzers, and those things went out of like crazy. Uh, uh, we were talking to Leon, and he was saying on a national basis they were behind George, you know, our area because our area picked it up quicker than anybody. Yeah. So, but uh, you know, our team's got to understand that these guys are giving us a good shot. We had a chance for a knockout blow there early, didn't take it. On the first possession defensively, then first possession offensively, the same thing. But all in all, based on the way the game's going, I'll take 3 nothing, and then uh, understand you're going to have to make some plays. Now, they, these guys aren't going to have blinker lights on like they were against Texas, uh, Mississippi State. I mean, these guys play zone coverage. You got to read the routes, and you got to get there and be open. Well, and, and it's just they have opposite goals in this game. Kentucky's just finally letting that clock run out and just see if they have a shot in the fourth quarter somehow. Mississippi State doesn't play that way. Yeah, this was this is a good quarter for Kentucky right now. Notre Dame's up 30-0 to zero on Boston College. Right I can't now. believe Boston College beat my alma mater last week. Kansas State's beating West Virginia 41-25. to 25. That's at the half, isn't it? Yeah, just starting the third quarter. Knock it out of the end zone, Pod. A little better. This is what I'd like to see here, Dane, a stop and make these guys punt into the wind. You know, the wind is enough that it affects the game. It's uh, 11 to 15 miles an hour. That's pretty sufficient. SEC scores today. Alabama beat Austin P thirty four to nothing. Mississippi State beat East Tennessee State fifty six to seven. Texas A and M beat UMass twenty to three. Big win for them. <laughs> and Vanderbilt beat Florida thirty one to twenty four. We got Tennessee and South Carolina tonight, and LSU, UAB, and then Arkansas Ole Miss. Late in the first quarter here. That's a poised throw because he had a man in his yeah. face. Well, we ran a safety blitz there. Hopefully there's holding here. We came to safety off the edge there. It's Chris Smith, linebacker. You got him man coverage, and the guy read it and just went back out in the flat. George has a sideline warning. You know what they're going to do here is just play action. Levitt's getting some uh, – getting a little bit of uh, confidence here. Primarily working out of the shotgun. Carter, two tackles already. Love to see a sack, defensive score, or something. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Come on, Jalen, cut it loose. Ooh. I don't know how Working Pop it. didn't get that. I like their their plan right now to throw quick underneath our backers. They're just reading their backers and throwing in the hole right there in that tight window. Very solid throw. Another first down for Kentucky. 
It's like five first down. Isn't it? Five for Kentucky, four for Georgia. Guy makes the pile move. I give him credit for that, but we ride all over him. Yeah, that was Beal and Chas Chambliss in there. Well, we didn't get much advantage in this win the first half, first quarter. We don't have enough players out there. Going empty. Tackle. Oh, wow. They threw it the wrong side. <laughs> that made it easy for Georgia there? Yeah, I mean, 84 on a visual. I would think they let the clock run out and use the wind there. Wouldn't you? They're at least breaking the formation. Maybe trying to see if they can get up off sides or something. He's telling them to let it run out. Yeah. Not much football played in that first quarter. <laughs> What do, you, what do you mean by that? A lot of clock running is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, oh. Not many total plays, I oh, guess. Oh, yeah, that's the best say. way to say it. I thought there's some good stops. No, but. yes, it, but 28 total plays. You don't have to worry about the commercials here. Uh, let's get some in while, while we're talking. I, I may be getting home before the sun goes down at this rate. Let me update the scoreboard here. So who uh, – tell us about Yancey, how you can rent stuff for us. Well, that's what I'm bringing up uh, right now. So YanceyRents.com. That's Y-A-N-C-E-Y Rents.com. The cool thing about that is it connects you with the uh, folks in your area where you can rent some – and it's not just Caterpillar. It's some other big equipment you can rent for whatever jobs that you're doing, uh, whether it's in the Athens area or out in Columbus, down in South Georgia – yanceyrents.com can help you out there. If you want to learn more, maybe you want to do a, a career change as well, uh, you can check them out at yanceybros.com. Uh, I, I know that you've had some good experiences with those folks over there. Yeah, I mean, great Georgia supporters. Uh, uh, just love to support the dogs. And uh, we always talk about our uh, fan base uh, if you got a choice on renting something, rent it from somebody that supports the dogs. There, uh, oh, there you go. And they got plenty of uh, different things that you can use. Um, maybe the, it, coming up here in December, you need a portable heater or something. Uh, they can work those out for you. Georgia has some of those on its side. Line. Yeah, we got some. I need to talk to Gage about getting some from Yancey, brother. <laughs> uh, Although so we probably won't need any after this week. For uh, short-term or long-term, Georgia's choice for rental equipment that's yanceybros.com slash rental, or just go check out yanceybros.com. Um, yeah, th this is probably Georgia plays outdoors next week, but it's in Georgia and it's at noon, so it should be a tick warmer. Yeah, long range forecast is 50 for tech game, and beyond that, you're looking at indoors the rest of the way, most likely Atlanta, Atlanta, Los Angeles, right? If we're projecting ahead that far. We need to go on and understand you, you're going to have limited possessions today, boys. Steven says, how about a little Elvis cold Kentucky rain, coach? <laughs> hey, that's a good one to sing. Uh, maybe at the end. I'm, I'm a little bit geared in right now. And then well, Thomas he, follows he, with a thank you. Thank you very much. He was in the Kentucky rain. Well, I'm glad it isn't raining. You know where I'm staying Thursday night? Because I'm going to the Egg Bowl as a fan. You're going to stay in... Uh, We're staying in Tupelo. Wow. Well, you know, when we we played uh, Mississippi State one year... Uh, I, I mean, Mississippi one year, um, our team stayed in Tupelo. And uh, I had the Elvis suite. And uh, really... Made me fired up, you know. I went in there and it's all this memorabilia for Elvis. And uh, the only problem was the people there forgot that we were coming in that day, and they had they they didn't have our rooms, so um, our players had to 
we had four guys in a room, some rooms. Uh, mm. It was the worst trip I've ever been on as far as logistics. All right, we're in the second quarter, third and 11 for Kentucky. Corner blitz. Get in on that guy. Got him. him. Ed Holden, too. Don't call hands to the face. That's our style right there. Roddy says it's pretty windy on the field down there. Hands to the face. Robert Beal. That's how you lose games. Stupid penalty. I mean, you got, he, he did everything but take his helmet off. It's a senior player on third down. Gee, I mean, Christmas. That's two plays that Georgia essentially has Kentucky off the field, and you give them life. Bill's out there standing up. Figured out what's coming. You got to play your position, Bill. You got the quarterback there, son. Well, we had eight plays or nine. How many plays we run? Georgia's had 12 plays. Kentucky's at 18. Mm, tough run. Levis of five for six for 63 yards. I can see him taking a shot here. Looked like a different team in last week. Their team. What a gang tackle there. Unlikely to stop him behind the line of scrimmage. You can hold him to one or two. You're doing a good yeah. job. They basically had the ball for four minutes now. The last two minutes of the third, first quarter. Clock isn't stopping at all. Watch the inside route to, 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 the, to the guy standing on the hash mark here. Fake, you're going to fake it to the back and throw it on the backer. Good tackle Jalen, that's three. He's just so versatile because he can yeah. cover an edge. He can push up the middle. Be nice to get a sack here and mess up a field goal shot. Not quite a sellout at this game. Top of the side that most of the Georgia fans is on is, well, is in. Six and four teams, hard to sell them out, especially with their basketball. Packed house at Mississippi State last week. Turnover. God. I got turf toe to it. Miss tackle. <laughs> we look like sloppy right now. You got to make that tackle. Tick, 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 tick. Kaya 
All right, so Levis is staying on the sideline now. This guy's a little pretty good runner, I think. New quarterback, new cadence, big penalty. What you got? Just resetting our clock camera. 10.30. Five more minutes off the clock. Perfect game plan for Kentucky. Three drive, ten plays. Whoever's watching, I hope you took the under. I tell you what, I like to see is light this guy up for a sack, strip sack. Second and twelve. Let's see if they undercut behind the linebackers again. Surprised they ran there. <sighs> right here, it's going to be maximum protect and one man route. You have a spy on him? We'll try to hit that guy at the top on a flag route. Pick. Yes, sir. Run Ringo. it back. Take it back, Keely. Take it all the way. Go on with it. Just like tail lights. Oh, what's the penalty? We block in the back. I might have been as good as a national championship interception. I'll see what the flag is. We probably had a block in the back. Keely Ringo playing like a champion after that bad play, mate. So, right there, we're playing cover two. Wasn't playing, man, and nobody threatened him in the flat, so he backed up. Poor call by them. I mean, you can't throw a fade route on a cover two. Change the game around right there. I wish we let him return kickoffs. Look at this guy run. <laughs> yeah, so it was blocking the back on the return. Good Lord. We're going to be back on the goddamn 20 yard line. But I'll take it compared to a field goal. Yeah, still got points. Kept points off the board for them. You know, that happened with him a few weeks ago. He had a tough play, and then he comes back and makes a game changer. Yeah, I mean, it was just lax on that first one. Tennessee is what I'm, I'm thinking about Yeah, early in that game. Well, this game today, too, I mean. Yep. <sighs> make, it, make your plays count here, Georgia. <laughs> I mean, Kentucky's run twice as many plays so far. 24 plays for Kentucky, Georgia's 12. Time of possession. Are you ready for this? Like 18 to 4. <laughs> uh, if this is right, make sure. 
This is showing Kentucky with 26 and Georgia with five. Well, that would be the half then. Yeah, I know. That's what this, this is not Here's right. the thing. We played that whole first quarter. First quarter and a half without Brock Bowers touching the ball or our tight end touching it. Yeah. Here's the touches for Georgia. Stetson Bennett's two of three for 16 yards. Kenny McIntosh, three carries for 22. Dejan Edwards, four for 17. Stetson carried it twice. And then Ladd McConkey with a catch. Dylan Bell with a catch. That's it. Yeah. Very fortunate. Get the turnover. I wonder who that penalty was on. Does it say? Let me find the play-by-play play here. They have it as Jalen Carter on the... That's too bad. Big-time player. Doesn't always get it right on the play-by-play play online. But Yeah, Luke Gibbs says it was on, on Carter. Let us know where you're watching from in the chat. Try to give your hometown a shout out. We're always stunned to see how many people watch us internationally. Give him a coat. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida, Greenville, South Carolina, Fort Worth, Texas, Brazelton, Georgia, Tallahassee. Mike's watching in Honduras. Barcelona. Lithia Springs, Brunswick, Sunset Beach. All right. There goes Dejan Edwards. Rodney's in Colga. Worked in Columbus for four years. Rob, Dublin, Georgia, my hometown. Thanks for watching. What's the name of that? Dublin. Oh, Dublin. I thought you said Dublin, Dublin every day. Fastest growing city in the state. I'm from the east side there. All right, second and five for Georgia. Ratledge still not in there. He did not start. Going to set up a third and long three or four. Mm, your pack's down three nothing to Louisville, too. So, if he said the penalty was half the distance of the goal, where's the ball? Well, they're on I mean, Kentucky territory. How did we get there? Go on with it, Kenny. Did we? Did they not call the penalty or what? Did we miss the play? No, we didn't miss the play. Let me do a play-by-play -play here. Smart quarterback. Go ahead with it. Make them tackle you. That's a good RPO right there. I like it when we're attacking. Don't forget 19. Put him in motion and hand it to him or do something. You know, they said it was half the distance to the goal. He must have waved it off, you know. Maybe the fans can tell us what they said on TV, but if they were... Oh, the the it was on Kentucky's eighty eight. So it wasn't on Georgia's penalty yeah. on Kentucky and then declined. How could he block in the back? It was on the kick on the I guess they just had it wrong there to pick well, up. Maybe the he's trying to knock him out of bounds or something. Yeah, maybe it was blocking out of bounds. Red zone, get a score here, boys. Thank y'all for keeping us straight in the chat. 
Under center, this could be a naked bootleg. <laughs> there it is. Go on the run. A little sidearm to McConkey. God, I hate the nine yard line. I had to call. That's the first call of the day I've had in, in the area code. When I say neck and no, no guards are pulling. Nope. Slick throw right there. McConkey's old reliable these days. First and goal with the nine. Don't even have Bowers in the game, do No Bowers. Don't know Washington's in there. Kendall Milton's in there. Counter running outside. Good job. Just make a little more, though. Yeah, got two yards out of it. <sighs> Second goal with the seven. Put your shoulder down. Milton goes to the sideline. Heck of a time for McIntosh to come out. Hanging out with Mike Bobo over there. Dejan Edwards in. Kyrus Jackson in. Bowers back in. Could be motion for Bowers on a... There's Dejan. Nothing there. Week. That's McClendon in at left tackle right now. No. That formation was unique. We had an unbalanced line, maybe. Yeah. Quarterback draw. Bowers to the flag. That's where he's looking. Went from a conky. She was. Yeah, you got to take the points here. It's a little out of sync right now. Well, got down there fine. I'd like to see Kenny McIntosh in there. Yeah, just ridiculous. Kick is up and good. That guy's well, money. We got all our timeouts left, so maybe we can stop them and get a. But all that said, if you ask Mark Stoops at the beginning of this game, you get close to halftime, you have a chance to even go down 6 nothing into the half. You take it all day yeah. long. Has Bowers even been targeted yet? Did we say they threw one to him? Checking those stats. I know he hadn't caught one, but... I don't he played the University of Georgia the first half, and neither <laughs> neither one of the tight ends is called pass. Let's check out some scores from around the country. Auburn's up seven to nothing on Western Kentucky. That was a Tank Bigsby touchdown run. That one's just over halfway through the first quarter. I don't know that we'll see. What other upsets are even possible today? Ohio State's up seven to six on Maryland early in the second, but Talia Tunga Vailoa is nine for nine for 107 yards. Your buddy Mac Brown gets to play Georgia Tech today. Soften him up for Georgia. Yep, five thirty start. I was thinking I'd watch the first half of that, but. <laughs> you might still can at this rate. <laughs> I mean, while we were at halftime, I watched the first quarter, but 
to, which may be fully done by then. Game of the night is going to end up being USC and UCLA. What time does that start? That starts at 8 Eastern. And if you really want to stay up starting at 1030, you get Utah and Oregon. I'm not going to make that one. I don't believe Bo Nix will be playing in that game. Sure. I've been to one game at Kentucky, and it's it's a smaller stadium than most in the conference. But the wind does swirl in there. Yep. How about those two plays we ran down there with first down, second down? Kenny Milton. Didn't get to the outside. So if you're Stoops here, I mean, do are you trying yeah. to run this clock out? Oh, you can try to score. You're not going to keep shutting Jordan down a field goal. You know, listen, you have a 6 nothing game and neither team has punted. <laughs> Isn't that right? That's right. Yeah. I mean, there's really not even a ton of highlights in this game. So there's the Ringo interception. There's their first down pass. Out of their own end zone, essentially. Now, other than that, it's just been four yard running play here, five yards there. Kentucky has 113 total yards. Georgia has 105. But, I mean, Georgia's run 21 plays now. All right, they've updated the time of possession. Kentucky's had it 16 minutes, and Georgia's had it 10. Both teams two or four on third down. You got the ball on the nine yard line. It's always tough, though. I told you that when they made the first down up. Hard to run the ball on second and seven or eight. So, multiple weeks in the red zone, Georgia has put Darnell Washington up at the top for a potential fade pass. Haven't really gone to it. I'm not saying that they should because fade is kind of low percentage anyway. But, well, the other thing we've done was run Bowers on the in the flat, Bowers on the jet sweep, anything. I guess what I'm thinking, I, I would rather have kind of like the third quarter touchdown in Starkville, the kind of layered routes where you have Bowers and Washington streaking across the end zone rather than a potential fade at the top. Uh, Steven and then also Gregory and... Uh, Tanisha Davis asks, is the weather one reason why you're seeing a bit more conservative play right now? A little bit, probably. All right, let's stop them back here. Make them punt. Stetson doesn't look like he's cold over there. Doesn't he put a jacket on? He worked too hard on getting cut this offseason to not show off the the arms a little bit. All right, three minutes and 40 seconds left here. We got the halftime coming up here, and you got Jalen Carter on the bench. Chris Rodriguez now 14 carries for 28 yards. And they're going to set up about a third and five. Third and four. Open the door. Got to think Levis is a threat to run here. 
Time out, Kirby. Time out. Time out. I think they are. Great catch, but didn't help him up. If he would have stayed on his feet, it would have been a better one. That's for sure. They didn't do it quick enough. They got pressure on him there, but some of that's just from the play that Kentucky was setting up with the scheme. All right, Georgia has a two-minute offense here. Let's see if uh, anything is learned from some poor second quarter endings the last two weeks. But I think you have to be aggressive, don't you? Depends on where you get the ball. What kind of kick this is. He got the wind behind him. I wish he'd miss it. We got the ball first, second half, right? That's right. Maybe it's George's turn to get a, a return that's worth something. Yeah. We're due for that. <laughs> Barry says Kentucky came to play. They they came to run the clock. That's for sure. AZ Dog says Maryland just got an interception on Ohio State. So maybe that'll be the upset of the day. What's the score? Seven six. Right now it is. Second quarter. I don't think that'll hold up. But I don't know much about Maryland football other than who their quarterback and coach are. Trevor says Kentucky games always are like this, it seems. You mean a slog? All right. Two things you talk about on a punt situation right here. Do not line up off sides and do not get a penalty on the return. There's a lot of don'ts in the kicking game. Don't run into the kicker. Don't line up off sides. Don't block in the back. They've had some bad snaps this year. It'd be a good time to do it. I want to remind y'all, we do take a halftime break. We'll throw up a stat sheet up here. I uh, hope you'll take a uh, break with us as well. But we'll be back set up for the third quarter. Bad snap. Bad snap, please. You got a good snap. Very good snap. All right, McConkey will fair catch it. 24-yard line, 23-yard yeah. line. So how aggressive do you want to be with two minutes at the 23? Here's the difference in last week and this week. You got two minutes instead of 36 seconds. Yep. So uh, Gives you more options. I'd like to see McIntosh in here for this. Yeah. I'd like to see Bowers touch the football. <laughs> so if you uh, – if you score here, do you go for two or you kick the extra point? I would kick the extra point. Yeah. But I'm I'm of the belief that you only go for two when you kind of need to go for two. Yeah. Just thinking ahead. Because I've seen so many games, and Florida was an example of this earlier this year, that if you would have just kicked the extra point a quarter before, it changes the complexion of what the circumstance yeah. would have been in the fourth. What would you do? You're the coach. I'd say kick it early. What I'd like to do is get, at least get three here, make it a two-possession game. This is just a weird game. <laughs> weird. They're having to sneak in these commercials because they hadn't had a chance to. Right.
This year, we'd like to invite you back to Jersey Mike for a number of special weekends. Playing at Kentucky is just not a whole lot of fun. I, I thought that was going to be the case last week in Starkville. But. Hey, you got to have fun when you play, man. You only got 12 games. Have fun. Show your ability. Best team in the country, show it right here. They got to sneak in all the sponsor stuff here. Say, Lab McConkey's been so good for a few weeks now. Do what I'd do right now with Bowers tight in reverse or something. Just let him touch it. It's amazing how tall Darnell is. He was taller than the padding on the goalpost. He's on the sideline right now, it looks like. Bowers and McIntosh in there. Could be the counter. There you go. Golly, you get more out of that than that, Brock. That's a good call. F fake the counter and throw the screen. Get a block. Clint. That's Mims out there. Put him in motion and hand it to him. Yeah, Broderick Jones not in there. That's uh, McClendon at left tackle. Wait for All right, down. get up on the ball. Let's go. That doesn't mean a whole lot that, that Broderick's not in the game. They do this a lot of times late in the second quarter. Really slow getting these plays off. 110 left in the half. So got a long way to go. 30 seconds. Wasn't anything there. We weren't any hurry there, were we? Now you got third down. The second down right Excuse now. Excuse me, we made a first down. My bad. Yeah. Kenny fell forward for it. This is a run right here. Get into the wind. I don't blame you. Counter this way. It's a good run. Break it. Break it. Okay, get up on the ball. I called the counter. You did. Watch Browers turn up. Beautiful. Is Don Blaylock out there blocking in front too? Time out. Time out. Time out. And they do call it the timeout. Thirty-eight seconds left. <sighs> What a run for McIntosh to yeah. just change the whole complexion of what that drive can be. That's why you keep him in the game right here. Yeah, Ratledge is out on the field with everyone else. So I don't know if he's injured or he just – maybe – you know, we've heard Kirby say – I'm not saying he had a bad week of practice, but when players don't play, it tends to be that they had a bad week of practice. I heard that earlier this year with – Ingram Dawkins on the defensive side, but then he's played more lately, too. Well, I was hoping I could play for the half, but I can't.
So we'll have 40 seconds here left in the second quarter. <laughs> Xavier, yeah, coach gets into it. He, he likes calling the timeout along with it, just like he, he would. Darius Sr., I agree. Darnell Washington down the seam. I don't know how you'd stop it right now. Or at least that would draw something away from somebody else. Made it back. You didn't miss a thing. Georgia's 147 total yards, Kentucky 119. Georgia with nine first downs, two of four on third down. Here's Ohio State and Maryland. You coached at Maryland before? No, I played some games up there. Yeah. Randy White, one of the best players I ever played against. I was meaning as an away coach. I didn't mean. Yeah, I coached. Yeah. I've never even been in the state of Maryland, much less. Bird Stadium. BYRD, named for some guy, Bird. It's no Loxley's a good coach, and he's very well respected. So I just don't know if they can ever get the horses at that school. Tough did. field goal right here into the win. Second and four. Go to your best players. They're going to go quick out of the huddle. No. no. Washington not in. That's Rosemey, Bowers, and Kiaris Jackson up top. Lab McConkey at the bottom. Got Edwards. All right, just reset the play. Good coverage. Lucky you didn't get a holding call there. Luke says, uh, Coach, is it footwork, arm slot, or something else with Stetson's technique that makes him miss high when he misses? I think today just wind. But, you know, sometimes he doesn't step into his throws when it's not wind. So that's footwork. But the, the, uh, he's most, got such a good arm. He doesn't really follow through sometimes. And that, when you plant, you, you have ball sends a sail on you. The most recent one, I think, was just a safer play. Like, if you're going to miss, miss long. Oh, that one there, yeah. Third and four. It'll be interesting to see if we don't make this. We go for it on fourth and four. Rose right. me. Let's go. Get up there and run one. That's a first down clock stop. That's good arm strength there. That's a tight little window. Snap it. Clock's running. Get out of bounds. He didn't. Time out. Yeah. God, you need to get out of bounds there, buddy. It's too bad. Georgia Bulldogs, 4L, number one. Yes, I am from the 478. That's my area code. East Dublin, born and raised. East Lawrence High School, class of 2007. You know where the ball is there? Is it 18-yard line or 23? 20, where is it? This is around the 20. 25. Now he got it up to the 24. Caught tough. it at the 25, got it to the 24. Tough field goal in the win. Captain Guy Bob says that his grandfather played fullback for Maryland in the 1907-1908 season with Curly Bird. Curly was the guy named from the stadium. Well, there you go. Thanks a lot there. I bet he was a good player. Your your grandfather. This is this is no kidding. Now I was coaching at NC State and Roy Lester was the coach up there. He was a high school coach at Maryland and they and very successfully named him the coach. And we used to have these guys that used to help us recruit up in Northern Virginia and go by the high school and pick up tape. Well, he film, I mean, he went over to Maryland's practice and started watching them. And he, he thought that was okay. 
and Roy Lester called down there. Coach said, "What?" He said, "I know this guy he used to come get tape from me, <laughs> film from me. What's he doing over here watching my practice?" And <laughs> Coach Edwards said, "Well, he doesn't know enough to tell us anything, but he said he certainly wasn't sent by us." And Roy was laughing about it. <laughs> it was, that guy thought he was going to help us out watching practice. Pretty cool. Jay Holly, shout out to Dublin High School. Going to try to hit a wheel to Bowers over into the boundary. There's Dom Blaylock in here. Kendall Milton, too. Great catch. They're saying out of bounds, or he didn't have possession. Well, he had it, but it, yeah. he didn't get a foot in, I guess. Hey, review. That ball's not moving. Call down and say review. End zone shot. Bowers. Got to kick again. That's worth a little bit. Because he's out of bounds. What? Gary's saying the clock should be running. Why? He got tackled out of bounds. You think they'll call a timeout? Money. That's a great drive by the dogs. We got the ball first, start second half too, right? Yeah. So there we go. Halftime here. Thanks to Athens Ford and to Yancey Brothers and Bud Light next. Uh, we will take a break here for our halftime. Georgia leads nine to nothing. Uh, stat sheet will come on the screen here. You take a break. We'll get you recalibrated for the second half and uh, see if we can find some touchdowns during that time. We'll be back for the second half of the UGA Sports Watch Along show featuring Jim Donnan.
Zero Carbs beer is here. Introducing Bud Light next. Zero Carbs, 80 calories. Super crisp light beer. Bud Light next. Brew for what's next. All right, we're back. Second half of Georgia and Kentucky here. This is the UGA Sports Watch Along Show with Jim Donnan. And we are presented by Athens Ford, the Yancey Brothers, and Bud Light next. We can't do the show without them. So please support the people who support us. A trio of field goals for Georgia in the first half. Scored every time they were in the red zone, but it wasn't the touchdowns. Did have the interception from Keely Ringo that prevented Kentucky from scoring. But overall, Coach, I think Kentucky has to be pretty pleased with the scoreboard. Yeah, I mean, any way you look at it, just uh, they had the one turnover, but had very few penalties. They made some first downs. They took the ball off their goal line and marched the ball on us the first possession. And then they had a nice drive that ended up in no points. But uh, the biggest thing for us is just understanding the conditions today. It's hard to judge the, the deeper balls. Uh, the underneath stuff's there. Take the screens. Take the short stuff. They can't stop the counter. They haven't stopped it yet. Get some rhythm with our backs. Uh, uh, I, I like our, I like Milton going in the game. I, but you know, when, when you're in the red zone like that, and you know the first carry of the game that he's in there is, uh, you know, he's a good back. But you know, you got McIntosh on fire. So, but they know more about who they play. Del McGee's a great coach. We, we just got to be a little more effective with our personnel and what we're doing inside the red zone there. I mean, the first series we we're down there, we ran the ball two straight times right up inside and teams are looking for that, you know, put, put your quarterback on the move. The good things happen. Uh, you know, we, we just uh, haven't been as effective in the red zone as we normally are, but realistically you scored three times in the, uh, you know, we continue to be like 59 out of 60 on the year. So, uh, no turnovers today. Uh, we, we did have uh, one penalty on a hands to the face, but uh, which was a critical one there. I mean, we would have got off the field, but we get the ball to start the second half. Uh, we will have the wind in the fourth quarter. So uh, just got to go down and get a score here. Georgia's 58 to 59 this season in the red zone. 39 of those are touchdowns, 19 our field goals. Here are some offensive stats to the point you were making just about running backs yards per carry. And I get that's a small sample size. So this doesn't always mean a lot, but Kenny McIntosh nine and a half yards to carry Dejan Edwards, three and a half Stetson Bennett, one and a half and Kendall Milton has two on his one carry. How many carries for Mac six for 57 yards. Yeah. Stetson Bennett, 10 of 15 passing 74 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, receiving, Glad McConkey leading the way, three for 28. He's been targeted five times. Kenny McIntosh, two for 19, two targets. Uh, Rosemi Jack Saint, two for 10. Bowers, two for 10. He was targeted an extra time, so he's been targeted three times. No targets for Darnell Washington. He had one target. He threw it over his head. That's right. Well, I, I guess they didn't count it as a target in the stat book, but yes, you are right. They don't put that down if you don't catch a pass, I guess. But uh, Dylan Bell has a catch for seven yards. So, I mean, it it wasn't an unclean half. It wasn't undisciplined football, and I think that's why Kirby seemed pretty happy at the end of the quarter because the offense was able to move the ball, just didn't come away with touchdowns. Well, pressure's on uh, Kentucky defense to make some stops here because uh, they get behind playing catch up against this defense is going to be hard where we can rush the passer. Be alert for an onside kick here. Now start the half. You never know. These guys are desperate. What are they waiting on? Making sure the, the commercials are over. We got 12 o'clock next week, right? 12 noon. And then the SEC is four. We'll still be eating some uh, Thanksgiving leftovers yeah. at that point. I wish this guy kick it short. We've been working so hard on kick returns. Kick is up and away. Too much wind there. That stadium, I mean, we keep harping on the wind there, but it, it swirls in weird ways in different parts of it. No question. 
Justin says George's offensive line needs to step up in the red zone. True. The one thing I would give him a little help with, though, is hard to move guys when they're stacked up to stop the run in the red zone. It's hard. Same offensive line that Georgia started the game with, Jones, Truss, Van Pran, Willock. I'd like to see it start out running the counter to the play again because it looks so good with Kenny Mack. Whew. You just feed him this whole half. Yeah, he's going to come out pretty good. Willock, one of attack. Van Pran. Good cutoff there by Rutledge. I mean, uh, trust Rutledge, they say, has a – what we're hearing is he has a, a – shoulder has been a chronic problem with him in practice and just couldn't go today. Seven carries for 70 yards for Kenny Mack, and he goes again for four. You know, they, these guys are selling out on the run. That's a safety tackling on the line of scrimmage there. Indy Clip asks, is Darnell hurt? Not that we know of. He's played a lot in the first half. Uh, he's, he's okay. The only injury we know about is, is Rattledge. Rattledge. And that didn't happen in this game. He hasn't played in this game. Yeah. Tight formation here. Could be a screen to Bowers after the fake. Bowers, McConkey, Kyrus Jackson, Rosemary Jack Saint, the skill guys in. Was that a busted play? Yeah. He's running the counter. He... It's okay. He got six yards with it. <laughs> I don't know if that was Stetson or the back, but we got good game. That's why you have mobile quarterbacks. I mean, not just that, but you can turn quick thinker nothing into something. Toss into the boundary. Fake to Kiaris. Got the first down. Good, Good call, two. Coach. Hmm. <sighs> two or three for you. Keep him in there. He's going to stay on the sideline over there. Chadwick says, why aren't Jackson and Blaylock getting pass attempts? Because Georgia can run right now. You could ask the same thing for Washington and uh, Bowers, but I like the play call there. They they haven't stopped the counter yet. Here's your shot. Oh. Throw the ball into the wind like that. That is a dumb play, Kat Stetson. God. Just keep running play action on the throwing the flat. Well, he, he can't turn around like that. Now you got to keep running to the post to help him. It's still a stupid throw. God. Just giving them opportunities. Good as a punt, though. A little short stuff into the wind. I mean, in theory, I don't mind taking shots, but we're thinking the wind makes that so much more difficult to understand. Yeah, plus the back, the receiver didn't know where he was. I mean, he's throwing to the post. I mean, if he'd have gone to the post, he could at least knocked it down, maybe. Oh, I, yeah, that miscommunication was was there, obviously. Uh, halftime, Maryland thirteen, Ohio State ten. The, the key to that game so far appears to be Talia Tungavailoa, 16 of 18 for 180 yards and a touchdown. Pretty cool. If you can stick with that, you got a shot. Now, Georgia just has to get out of here with a win. You don't care about style points. You don't care about anything else. Yeah. Our style points right now are limited. You got my thing on, right? You are my mic. Let me double check. I've, I turned it on beforehand. Yeah. Check one, two, one, yeah, two. Yeah, I got you. Right. 
So tell us about that Yancey one more time. Yeah, so Yancey Brothers, if you want to rent some equipment uh, to get a job done, maybe you're doing something uh, on your land or uh, building a new structure of some kind, you need to move a little earth. Yancey Brothers is where you can do it. I'll bring up their website here. Uh, their rental because you can do it anywhere in Georgia, obviously in the Athens area. We got your hookup up here. But if you're anywhere in the state, if you go to yanceybros.com slash rental, it's Georgia's rental choice. And, you know, I, I end up seeing a lot of these uh, yards where this equipment is is sitting. And I, I've always wondered, could you get something beyond just the Caterpillar, which that's what they specialize in. And the answer is, yeah, you definitely can. Uh, so maybe it's you need something that's uh, John Deere or some other kind of equipment. Uh, Caterpillar is what you'll see a lot of. But the temporary HVAC is what you might need this time of year, especially if you're a business owner and just need a little extra help there. Yancey Brothers, yanceybros.com slash rental. And let's see if Kentucky stays on the ground. <laughs> Darius Sr. says they can't stop the run. Just run it, please. True. Kentucky hasn't moved it a whole lot. Maybe one drive they got down the field a little bit, but it was with Georgia's help. Ball start. Eleven thirty four here in the third quarter. Going empty. Quarterback draw. Oh, great play there, Lassiter. That's twice that he's just blown up someone in the flat like that. A lot of confidence the way that corner's playing. He's Watch so it. physical. All right, let's get a safety here. No penalties. I would think they're going to run something like a draw here, right? Maybe. I hope they do. We're playing man. A draw or a screen or... <laughs> Get out of the way, Kirby. <laughs> That's some belief in your quarterback there. I think most teams would have ran it up the gut and punted. What would, we, would have run it up the gut? What did I say? Would have ran it. Come on, I'm going to catch you. you bad should? English, you're a master's guy. <laughs> hey, really, seriously, here's your chance. Get a good bad kick here and make up for it. Black cat. Come on, we need to get, jump on these guys. Just don't have a penalty. See if the wind can help him out with field position. I'd say so. Oh, I got to bounce though. God knows. 58 yard punt. You got to catch that fair catch, man. Kick from the three. Was that where it was? He was in his end zone when he got rid of it. But yeah, that's where the, the ball was. About 60 yard punt. So these Bud Light Nucks that you can get, there are 80 calories, zero carbs, 4% alcohol by volume. So you could have a couple of these and still have a, a good night, not feel horrible the next day. And uh, I think that's why they've been so popular because people want to be able to enjoy the night but uh, not have to go run it off so hard the next day. 
and the Zero Carbs and Bud Light Next to help that happen. Locally in Athens, you'll see the Leon Farmer Distribution Group. You'll see their trucks going around to get these Bud Light Next to everyone in this area. So when you see them, think about the UGA Sports Watch Along Show with Jim Donnan. They've been sponsoring since we started doing this back in 2019. Uh, we've been going for more than three years now, Coach. Is that right? With That's this show. And we're the most popular Georgia Bulldogs YouTube channel out there. So if you are not subscribed to what we're doing here on this YouTube channel, you need to be. It's uh, where Georgia people come to watch anything on YouTube. We're really proud of the progress that we've made. And uh, so much has been the contributions that, I mean, this time of year, I feel like you and I are doing some kind of show about two or three times a week at this point. Yeah, we are. Three times around the league. The podcast on Tuesday for uh, UGA Sports, and then this game on Thursday. Next week will be the final regular season week of Around the League. We may have a postseason version of it, but uh, has some good good numbers on that. Yeah, it's been doing very well. That's with our buddy Brent Rollins from Pro Football Focus. We have a lot of fun on that show. I had a bad pick today on uh, Western Kentucky. I thought they were going to play on tight, but. Uh, What's that score right now? Well, 17 10. That's pretty That's tight. Pretty tight. pretty tight. I need your pack to come back a little bit, man. Down 13 to 3. It's yeah, you got to play Chapel Hill next week. That, that could be a very meaningful game. I mean, Carolina's playing the state to that. I mean, uh, tech today, but. Mm -hmm. But if Carolina gets to the ACC championship with one loss, you just never know. Yeah, the way things are happening now. It could have gotten a lot more squirrely had Michigan and TCU not made comebacks today, but they did. Here's Milton in the game. You gonna let you gonna let Washington try to run the counter here? Good run. They can't. You tell me if they that was a counter. I mean, they haven't even come close to stopping. Go block somebody. Come on, Ken. They'll break one. The good back. I think it's hammer and tong time, Coach. I mean, you're getting movement there. You have no reason to pass the ball right now. Well, we can, you, it's nothing wrong with passing it. You just don't throw it deep like that. <laughs> I mean, we're a good passing team. Don't, don't get too tight, man. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's about ability. I'm saying if they can't slow the run. Oh, yeah, well, that, that's true. That's true. But, yeah. Georgia can but pass he, on when he take the guy take the guy out when he's hot. Run the toss. A little nifty move. <sighs> Good job, Bauer. Rosemary Jacks ain't getting in there, too. That's like a, that's like a run. Yep. All right, get, use your players there. <laughs> hey, Justin says, uh, George is a field goal range. Watch out. <laughs> no, nah, they're hey, going to they get a touchdown this time. Got Kenny Mack in there. He's hungry. Second and six or what? It's going to be thereabouts. Counter to the field. McConkey in motion. Guys on the nine again. 
We got hats on hats here. Look at everybody blocking. Broderick Jones, that's a big time block. Yep. Swallowed your, up two guys. Here's what you always say use your best back behind your best blocker right here. So to me, that would say this is a toss to McIntosh behind Darnell, if you're following that theory. And he's going to run it into the toss into the boundary here. Oh, Roseme got pushed around there. They just guessed and blitzed. Lewis Austin says Burma Road. You know, it was really impressive uh, defensive call by them. Come off the edge. They know they're running. Keep running, though. Make them stop you. Here can they come across. That was Darnell Washington going left to right. There it is. Good looking football team right there. George is one of the few teams in the country that can do what the defense gives them either Watch way. Watch his blocking right here. They had a built in play there where Bowers went across and made that end think he's going to block him and went in the flat and the end didn't chase from the backside. That's a great march there. Milton showed me something too. So that makes it 16 to nothing. Georgia with a third quarter lead. If you're curious, Kenny McIntosh, 95 yards on his 12 carries, and now he has the touchdown. So we'll be seeing him get 100 yards, I would imagine. Dejan Edwards with 33. Kendall Milton with 30, Georgia with 166 rushing yards, 78 passing yards. But now Kentucky probably has to play a bit differently because you can't just run clock at this point because you need points. I'm pulling up some uh, photos of the Ford Broncos that you need to go check out over at Athens Ford because when I see these things on the road, and one of my coworkers over at UGA, as a lot of people know, I work at the – I'm the program coordinator for the Carmichael Sports Media Institute and the New Media Institute over at Grady College at UGA, which is a lot of words to say that one of my coworkers and the uh, New Media Institute, Chris, drives – you may see it around Athens. He drives a, a Ford Bronco – and I believe it's it's kind of a, a lighter green color. It stands out, so you can't miss it when you see it. But these Ford Broncos, the 2022, they're such a sharp-looking vehicle. And you can get these custom-ordered from Athens Ford, and you can make sure you get it exactly tailored to how you'd like it, or you can go see what they have available over on their lot. Maybe something else catches your eye when you're over there. We know uh, Roddy takes his Ford Explorer up everywhere, including around those Tennessee mountains to avoid. Now, I hope he doesn't have any snow coming on the way back, but he'll be fine if he does. Mm -hmm. So check out Athens Ford, AthensFord.com if you want to support the people who support us. If you have a question for Coach Donnan, we may get into some story time mode here in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, Joe Apollo says, who ran that touchdown? That was Kenny McIntosh, Joe. No, I, I think George is just one of the few teams in the country that if you load up on on the run with them, they can throw over the top. If you, yeah, we talked about uh, all week about this, th their defense is more of a vanilla look, and if you can put a hat on hat, like we, we've had very few plays where we had a lot of shortage today. Red zone, a little bit of trouble there because we had a couple of bad plays, but. Uh, Defense ought to play with the sticks here now. Just don't give them anything easy. Play for that shutout. Mm 
Don't discount that <laughs> this is still a physical game, and this is not yeah, Kentucky. This guy's last a good years. kickoff return guy too. I hope he can knock it out of the end zone, but you never know into the win. Made him back up into the end zone. He runs out with it. God, missed the tackle. <sighs> Let's be careful here now. Nothing easy. Uh, Lump Dog says, Coach, my question for you. What is the correct spelling of Chilardos? <laughs> C-H-I-L-A-R-D-O. Chilardo. Who's the player that comes to your mind when you think of Chilardo? Maybe someone you coached. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good... Maybe that guy at Florida a couple weeks ago. Some big guys, that's for sure. <laughs> Fridge. Refrigerator Barry. I'll say it just because we're Twitter buddies now. George Foster. <laughs> George was lean. I'll uh, tell you one thing about George. His mother wanted a job at Kroger. And Les Jones got her one, and she's still working there. <laughs> Good friend down there making. Wasn't anything illegal about it either. Nice lady. I don't know if she still works there, but she worked there for a long time. She's a good employee, and Les is a good man for us down there. Good dog. Second and four for Kentucky. Robert Beal got in there. Mateo Lester. He's grown a lot this year. If I'm Kentucky right there, no way I wouldn't have thrown run the ball. Jay Holly says, is Coach going to do a rewatch of the 97 Georgia-Florida game as a watch-along? It's one of my favorite games ever. We'll, we'll do that in the offseason. Yeah. We're, we're busy this time of year. but Don't we'll give me anything easy here, boys. We'll, we'll make that happen. I love seeing punt one more time here. Third and four. Good three-man rush. Here comes Jalen Walker, though. He backed off. Oh, Ooh, drop it. Walker, you didn't do much to stop that, my friend. You look good doing that safe, but that guy <laughs> dropped it. <laughs> Walker did <laughs> He was just making sure he didn't come inside. I mean, yeah, that was where he's coached. Levis' stat line now, 7 of 12 for 59 yards and an interception. Ooh. Punt is away. Catch it, lad. It's all right. 30, 25-yard uh, line. I like that defense so far. They haven't made a first down the second half, have they? Nope. Score check around the country. Ohio State now leads Maryland 17 to 13. Clemson leads Miami 24 to nothing. That was a blowout for a long time, but it could be a lot worse. Penn State lead Rutgers uh, 28 to 10. NC State scored them a touchdown, down 13 to 10 against Louisville. Uh, Georgia, Both of them playing with backup quarterbacks. Georgia Tech and North Carolina just kicked off, so they're only a couple plays into that game. Final score, Notre Dame 44, Boston College 0. Notre Dame plays USC next week. Big game. Where is that game? I believe that game is in California, but I'm double-checking. Yes, it's at USC. USC, big game tonight, UCLA. I mean, they, they got – Realistically, they're ranked like seventh, are they? They got UCLA, who's ninth or tenth. They got Notre Dame, who's in the top 20. That'll be top 15 next week. And then they got Utah or, or Oregon, whoever's other team would be. So they get three wins. I mean, if they went out, I think they're in for sure. Well, depends on what happens. Well, you, you got to figure Michigan, Ohio State, losers out. TCU still in. 
I guess I'll put it this way. They would be in over Tennessee. They'd be in over the Ohio State-Michigan loser, and they, I think they'd be in over the ACC champion Yeah, with that resume. Everybody keeps talking on these talk shows about Tennessee on the eyeball test, but realistically, you didn't win your division. Yeah. South Carolina – Talking big game here about uh, all they're going to do against them. I I can look for them putting old Joiner back there and running the the uh, Wildcat this week. You know, like they did in the bowl game. Yeah, they've been waiting for Rattler to do anything since he's gotten there. He hadn't done anything. So Chadwick says Jalen Walker looks like Quay Walker's twin brother when he's on the field. He's a good player. He's bigger than Quay. Quay's having a heck of a year for the Packers. All right, let's just get another good march here. Levis with a full point up. Jack just got nominated for the uh, kicking award, too. He's in the. All right, Georgia takes over. Third quarter with a 16 point lead. They got a five man front here. They're going to try to hit you from the backside. They're kind of figuring out if they're. Warren Erickson in the game on offensive line now. Uh, John Griffith asks, where's Arian Smith? He's on the trip. I haven't had a lot of deep passing in this game. In part, I would think because of the wind. If we could just march the ball to the end of this quarter, the wind will be at our back. Got nothing there. Well, you say it every week. If there's third down, great third down teams. If if they're going to commit to stopping the run like this, eventually Stetson should be able to pull it and run himself. Yeah. I can see quarterback draw here. Stewart has a good point that Aaron Smith was in there as a gunner on the last punt. They're blitzing. Five, four, three, two. He barely Safety got that blitz. off. There's your throw. Take Tom it all the way. Blaylock. That was close. Well, I thought he had the interception, didn't you? Closer than it looked. A little sidearm, right? Ooh. Don't know if he'll be getting praised for that throw. Well, <laughs> I think he's team. doing pretty well considering the pressure he's under. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to argue with him, but it, that is safety blitz there. I really think it's time for Stetson to keep one of these. This guy's fearless. They, they find they're reading their mail now, boys. See the safety blitz? Yep. We picked it up. That was Warren Erickson. Good on Blaylock to stay concentrated. Make one first down there, and you have a chance to kick a field goal with the win if you had to kick one. McIntosh back in the game. He's at 95 yards rushing. Come on outside. Dancing. Now he's at 97. I don't love these mirror helmets for Kentucky. I like their white helmets. Or their blue ones. We're trying to set them up for a fake field goal. <laughs> Look at how far they're playing off the ball with Dylan Bell up there. Right, this is going to send some kind of play action boot. Going in the end zone, Big Dunn. Down to the eight again. 
<laughs> well over 100 yards now for Kenny McIntosh. That's a good call there. Watch his blocking at the point of attack, Broderick Jones. I think a good job by Willock. Did you see him cut the guy off? <laughs> yep. That's a big league. Blaylock gets to the five. I like the call. As a... He's over 100 now, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Well over it. He's up Good to... call on first down running that pass because they've been ganging up on us. Up to 120 for Kenny Mack. I would like to not score to the end of this quarter so we can kick off with the, with the wind. <laughs> But I'll take it right here. Touchdown and a field goal. Extra point means cover. Edwards in the game now. Keep pushing. Put Brock Bowers on jet sweep or Kenny Mack. There's a Warren Erickson getting some movement. Van Pran's going to be sore after this game. A lot of stuff's going to go. Here's Jalen Carter in there. Austin Blasky's in there. 57 belly. Bowers and Washington. Running off to the left. left tackle. Dancing. Hey, you get your wish though. You get it then of the. That was that was no movement at all. Well, you all. wanted it to be before the touch. Yeah, why wouldn't you put Kenny Mack in there? Erickson they just knocked us back there. Erickson got pushed back hard. You go for this. Well, there's two ways to look at it. They can tie you with two touchdowns and two two point plays. If if you kick the field goal, your three you know your three score game. I mean, but if they if they stop you, they still got to go ninety nine yards. I don't know. I, I would just it. say based on our inefficiency in the red zone, I would kick it. Just go up the for sure three scores. Well, if that would have been a pick six, though, we would have a different looking ball game. I think I would kick it, and that breaks my heart a little bit just because I always like being aggressive, but I think it's a numbers game at that point. Justin says, why not throw it at the goal line uh, when you've been stopped running at the goal line before? Well, I think you feel pretty good about that jumbo package, being able to get a little push and... It did in that time. Western Kentucky tied now. Oh, you just want to brag now, aren't you? You've been calling that for two weeks that that would be a tight game. I wish I'd have picked Vandy to beat Florida. <laughs> you said they might. Yeah, 17-17 at half. Got yeah, one 80 yards run for North Carolina first play of the game. So we will have the UGA Sports Watch Along Show with Jim Donnan next Saturday for the noon kickoff with Georgia and Georgia Tech. And then the following week with the SEC Championship against LSU. And then from that point on, we'll have to see what time. I, we know what day the following potential two games are, but we'd have to see what time that first one is. I think I think ours would be first because of Eastern the, time. The, game, the other games out of Fiesta Bowl. Yeah. So that's probably something. But I don't know like, if they're both on the same day, are they? Let's just. One, it's on the 29th or, or, or New Year's Eve, maybe, 31st. 
Got a lot of time to think about this here, boys. Our defense has been on the field six plays this half, right? We had the ball for, what, like 13 minutes that half quarter? New Year's Eve. Right. Four o'clock and eight o'clock. So I had it. We're going for it here. National championship game. They finally got something right. And we're going it, for it here, boys. Put it at 730 instead of I could see putting somebody in motion running a speed sweeper. That's our best play. Milton's in there. He didn't Shit. get it. Ugly. I don't like that personnel decision, frankly. But I mean, somebody's got to block this guy on the edge here. There's no way. Look at 15. I mean, Jalen blocked the wrong man there. I don't mind the decision. I do mind the – I don't even know if I mind the play call itself. I, I kind of mind who ran it. Well, unblocked guy hits you in the backfield. Not much you can do. Yeah. You know, you can always look back and say, find a way to get it in Bowers' hands. You got a better shot that way. But Well, we had a third, second down and five on the five – then we went, made three yards. Then we had third and one, didn't make anything. Then fourth and one. Uh, George is up to 316 total yards. Only the one penalty for 15 yards. 17 first downs, six of 10 on third down. I mean. You're on cruise control if you score there. Now it's. All things considered, it's been a, a pretty solid offensive game, I think. Yeah. Points don't necessarily dictate that. And, you know, scoreboard doesn't lie. Well, I'll give everybody a lot to talk about on the – still haven't punted today, right? Correct. What do you call that, the overreaction, show? Yeah, over <laughs> – there'll be things to overreact to. That's for sure. I think a piece of, of what you have to consider is that Georgia's defense is getting a little better each week. Yep. Just at the right time. Still in the game. We shouldn't be tired, that's for sure. <laughs> Nobody blocking the outside rusher. It's just poor play design. Quarterback keep. Quick throw, nothing. I'm surprised overall that, that Kentucky's team hasn't been better this year because they've recruited pretty well. Yeah. They still got some good guys on the outside. You haven't seen them much in this game, but, yeah, they have some freshman receivers. We got Chambliss really out here, nickel. Adding a second to the game clock. Sure would like to see Chambliss play this bubble screen here.
Empty. There he goes. The only thing they can do is run the quarterback draw and they run the damn thing for 10 yards. Chris Clip. Clip. Yep. Holding. Yeah. On Chaz. Defense getting too big for his britches here. Watch a double move down here. First and 10 at the 26. Christopher Smith. Oh, boy. Double move. See that? Yep. If they make a touchdown, a two point play, I'm going to pass out. Thirteen minutes left. And now they're in the red zone. RPO. They're doing everything so quick, getting out of his hands. Yeah, I don't blame them with their protection. Gotta make a tackle. Bullard did. One yard gain. Okay, the ball will be thrown in between the tackles here. Let's linebackers do something. What happened? Just getting our clock reset. Tackle. Hell of a drive from Kentucky here. Most life they've shown today offensively. Why didn't you kick the field goal? Empty quarterback run. Somebody play the quarterback, please. If anyone would, it looks like it'd be Pop. Sack. Great play there, Keely. Ten and a half left in this game. Great catch. Two player, isn't it? Was it fourth and three? 
two, whatever. Fourth and three. Don't be offsides. It's like Munden's blitzing. Quick out here. Play the quick out. Hmm. One over the top of the backers. And I had it wrong. I thought a quick out and they ran a break under. Can't let him inside you, baby. That's one of the better drives I've seen from a team all year. I mean, they were dead. First play, the only play was bad. He threw it in the dirt, and after that, he was. How many two-point conversion plays do you have in your book? I mean, Usually you... two. Some kind of movement play with his quarterback, I would think. Oh, they're just going to fade. Well, that's a gift. That makes it a lot easier game than it was. 16-8. I mean, two's a good player. I'm just thinking, you, like you said, do something where Levis is moving. <sighs> good game from Lasseter. Oh, if you need something to help take the uh, stress out of this, ease into your night, maybe some uh, Bud Light Next would do that for you. Let's take a 15-second break and hear from my friends at Bud Light Next. Zero Carbs beer is here. Introducing Bud Light Next. Zero carbs, 80 calories. Super crisp light beer. Bud Light Next. Brewed for what's next. So Georgia escapes, still having a two-possession lead. You're just trying to get some first downs and run well, us away, right? Maybe true, but you, you know you got to you can't play scared here. I mean, it's obvious they're going to gang up to stop the counter in the zone. I mean, you got to you got to run your offense. You get you can't you got to eat eat some clock and run your offense. I look at the stat sheet and I say. Kenny McIntosh with 14 carries is averaging 8.6 carry. Yeah. Bowers hadn't touched this half, has he? He has not. Mm -hmm. Darnell Washington, no catches today. Leading receiver still McConkey, three for 28. God, what a, what a turn of events. Go from twenty three to nothing to sixteen to six. That's a big turnaround. Thirteen points. Let's see what offensive line is in here for. They went to link to the field against the wind too. Yep. I've been hard on Will Levis all year. I mean, if if he gets in the right, I mean, he's got the tools. I see it, but yeah, anyone that takes him over a Bryce Young is just silly. Is what I'm saying. He's such a bigger kid. Yeah, and that that means a lot. Kicks away and it's short. Let's get some blocking. It's caught at the seven. There's a flag There's down. There's a penalty on eighty. Stupid. Ah, no. It's going to be on Brett's either. Yep. You make the trip, Seether. Ball going to be on the 20 or 15.
Tough to win on the road this late in the season. There goes Kenny guys Mack. on fire. See that threat of the run, what it does with Stetson? Now I'm curious what Kenny Mack's career high is. Crowner. There it is. Take it, man. That's good. Use the clock. This is a career high for Kenny McIntosh. What does he have now? After that, he is up to 136 yards. No, I think it's going to be 139 now. From what I can tell, coming into this game, his high was 90 against Florida. Aflac trivia question, who's the longest active head coach in the nation at one school? You guys at Iowa. Uh, Kirk Ferentz, yeah. I guess they have to say one school because... Third and two. One more time here. Inside zone to the left. God. Oh, man. He just outguessed you there. Oh, boy. Just be glad they didn't get that two-point conversion. First final game for a minute. Knock it out of the park. Punt is away. Good punt. He's a good player. <laughs> Where's that, 20? That's at the that's at 10, isn't it? We got whipped there on third down. Well, we made one first down in. In this half, yeah. Huh? Yes, sir. Um, Western Kentucky and Auburn are tied at 17. That's still early in the third quarter. Ohio State up 20 to 13 on Maryland. Miami has scored. Down twenty six to three to Clemson. We don't even have a hundred yards passing in this game, do we? Stetson Bennett has one hundred and sixteen yards passing. Oh. End of the first half helped him. But yeah, we've only two. We've only thrown like two passes this half, haven't we? I believe that it's it's, it's not, not a lot. The, one was an interception. And he go to the he threw one to McConkey. Oh, he threw one to, to uh, eight. Well, this helps Tennessee's uh, resume. They beat these guys 44-6. to six. I do like that McIntosh was in there that whole drive instead of taking him out because he's played so well. Um, passes this. So there was the interception that was intended for McConkey that was early in the third. Through completed one that 
He long, got fast. He, he had a short one to Dejan Edwards for four yards. Hit the eight. Hit eight for about twenty-five. Then. If you got a good defense, you rise up here, boys. Blaylock for thirty-five in the third quarter, and Blaylock for three. So you're looking at four passes. What's the score of that Iowa game? It's supposed to be most the less amount of points that scored in one game all year. Kurt Ferns, we got it right. Ten to ten. Much third quarter. Halfway through the third. Iowa ten, Minnesota ten. All right, six fifty-five left. He's going high. Oh my gosh. Who's covering these guys? We had two guys on him. Smith, he just fell down. Well, old uh, Brent Rollins had this guy down. Brown, yeah. Lucky. Good call. In fact, the screen one way, in fact, the shovel the other way and hit the tight end going back over the middle where everybody was going from. Well-designed play. Watch this. Fake to the left, fake to the right, tight end block, and then come back down the middle. That was a good play. Whew. It's too high. They in our hip pocket right now. They they doing a good scheme job. Get one sack today. We had one, but it's called off, isn't it? Going down the sideline again. Gonna get the PI. That's their strategy now. Just loft it up and see what happens. Dogs in for cat fight here. Offense, you're going to have to answer the challenge because I get Jalen Carter back in the game. I know that. 605 left in the game. Carter's in there with Walt Hour and Stackhouse. They're going to call that incomplete, and I think it was. Be too lucky for it to be a fumble. Well, they're doing a good job of throwing on time, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. Hey, challenge. Oh, on the slow-mo replay he had it. Challenge. Long. Where's the guy upstairs? I don't think they would overturn that. Throwing over the middle again. What we got to remember here is wherever our guy's coming from, that's where they're throwing. See this guy coming to our right here? They throw right behind that. Right behind Munden. We got a field force here. I wouldn't work. I'd play zone on these guys. No more fades. 
Come on, Jalen. Beat that guy. Well, we got the pressure in there. This is a throw because Georgia gets in here with Munden. Number two's all world. It's 140 yards for Brown receiving. Back to him. That's all they're doing. Second what? Eight, seven? Nine. <laughs> Good bad guess. <laughs> By the time he snaps, we'll be down to five minutes here. Levis up to 189 yards passing. Somebody got to get on number two. Bullard. Beal. Oh, Bullard's quick, isn't he? Yeah. I didn't think this game would turn out this way and be this close, but one play turned the whole thing around. Yeah. Of course, they still had to make those plays on the drive. I mean, you know, any way you look at it, they had to. I right. mean, the the easy thing to look back and say is to kick the field goal just for the. Yeah, but I mean, they they still they 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 just out execute us. Yeah. If y'all do me a favor and make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, we would really appreciate that. We have grown into being the biggest Georgia Bulldog-centric YouTube channel, and we are going to continue that trajectory. Ohio State's now 27-13, to 13, so I think it's safe to say that we will see undefeated Ohio State against undefeated Michigan next week, and that game is in Columbus, correct? Yep. Yep, and that'll be a noon kick. One thing you got to think about here is how are you going to play this quarterback? I mean, we haven't been able to get to him without pressure. I'm talking about extra guys, but when you do that, you get – I'd put Keeley Wingo on number two, wherever he lines up. That's who I'm throwing the ball to. Don't get a penalty here. Brown's a freshman from Nashville, Tennessee. You got two punts like balls. Got the touchdown too, right here. Show them. I think it was the LSU game they played earlier this year that. Uh, Brent said, "You got to watch out for these. I mean, it's a pair of freshman receivers that Kentucky but has it was against Ole Miss. They didn't play LSU. That's right. That's right. That's I was thinking. It was early SEC matchup. It was Ole Miss. We got a three man rush here. Carter, he got a hand on it."
What's Stoops mad about now? If he kicks a field goal here, he's crazy. I guess he thinks we they can get the ball back and score and win. Are we saying interference? I mean, the ball is massively uncatchable anyway. That's grounding. You think they try an onside kick here? So it didn't get tipped, but that's uncatchable anyway. What he's saying is it's not intentional grounding. Yeah. <sighs> Makes his field go harder. Give him 15 yards. You can knock him down before the ball is thrown. Are they waving the penalty? They wave it off. They did. Watch this buck up the middle. They had five blocked. Come on, Jalen. He missed it. Uh, yep. Whoo! I was clutch. <laughs> Wrong word, clutch. That was good for us. I mean, black cat. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I'd hate to be 16 10. Good defensive stand there. Bad snap. I didn't expect the kick to that ball. It down there. Give him the laces. Other than that, it was a good hole. <laughs> difference in our field goes Stetson picked it up and put it down. Yep. Whew, let's get out of here with a win. It's always, I mean, I understand why it's the case, but it's always amazing to me that the laces can make that much of a difference on a kick. Yeah, but I think it's disrupted, too, on the bounce, too. I mean, you know, he didn't seem to have much rhythm. we got to get a little juice here now. I mean, they can get the ball back and score an onside kick. We don't need to give them the ball. Time for Stetson to keep one. Nothing doing. Uh, we're playing like Ned in the first reader. They Thanks. call a timeout. Can we start the timeouts now? I don't know how he could be mad about that call. The guy with the ball hadn't been thrown. You can hit a guy. Is he still talking to refs? <laughs> Make sure you support Athens Ford and Yancey Brothers and Bud Light next. It's a zero-carb beer that you're really going to enjoy. Make sure you support the people who support us here on the UGA Sports Watch Along show. We're not even joking with you. This screen that we have in front of us, it, this is a really big screen, so we can make sure we see things in the formation the best that we can, although sometimes we have producers that don't show us everything that we'd like to see. But we put some uh, investment into our setup here uh, in our special studio somewhere in Athens. <laughs> and it's because of the support from people like Yancey Brothers, Athens Ford, and Bud Light Next, and also the support you have given us here on YouTube. And the longer that we do this, the bigger that we grow, the bigger our audience grows. It just enables us to... I mean, we have a second camera back here that allows you to have better information on this broadcast. So we get a little better each time that we do it. And 
we thank you all for supporting it. And the best thing you can do is go check out Yancey Brothers and Bud Light Next in Athens Ford. One of the best things we can do is make some first downs there. <laughs> Best thing Georgia can do is go get on the damn plane and get on home. <sighs> Iron Ball next week. I bet you Auburn tries to offer a job to somebody before next Thursday so they don't even give Cadillac a shot to get that job. Yeah. Austin P. 34, held him to 34 today. That a boy Stetson. Stetson. How many times did Jim Donnan say that today? How many times have you said it this year? Is that by design or is that an option? Right? That was design. You see uh, zero pull in there. Yeah. Use the clock. Great call. Defense let us down a little bit that second half. A little pitch. There you go. Bust it. A couple people in the chat said, why did he go out of bounds? Doesn't matter. Uh, Clock doesn't stop till two minutes to go. That's the difference than used to be, you know, like, so he's okay to go out of bounds. Regulation, he, if it was under two, he would have slid. See Coach Bobo back there. You can see the same play the other way. Get the first. I think he's going to be just shy of it. Depends on the spot. You got to think they're going to call a timeout here. Looks like the half. They were talking about the stat of uh, Georgia back to back seasons going 8 and 0 in the league. How about back to back maybe going 12 and 0 for the season? It's special. I mean, it's rare really, in the history of the game. Really, just had a good game today. Just, just didn't get the ball in the end zone as much as we should have. And then defense, a couple big deep balls on us. Three deep balls today. One on the outside on the first possession, two down the middle. You know, that's, that's their whole offense. We stuffed the run. Well, they got rushing. Because Levis lost yards. 89 on. yards rushing. Yeah. Now, you ask me what would Georgia fans overreact to on the post-game overreaction show, which comes up on this channel about 20 minutes after we get off air. Um, I think you'll probably hear some complaining about short yardage rushing, but that's a consistent yeah. one. Red so, zone. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Stetson's interception with McConkey. That was, that was bad. You know? That and maybe the decision to not kick the field goal to go up 19. You got to make this first down. You can't let this team get the ball and have a chance to score and kick an onside kick. Just keep the ball. You got one timeout after this, right? They've called their two timeouts, one left. That's correct. 249 left. Where's the ball? 40. I'm going to try to get them all sides here. Bauer is at fullback. He didn't get it. I don't know about that call. Yeah, 
Kentucky not using that final timeout? No. Okay. So they're taking the final timeout. <laughs> They'll get it back. I mean, that's four or five times on short yardage. Dara Senior says O line tripping today. Two hundred, so how much? Almost three hundred yards rushing, man. Georgia has two hundred and forty nine yards rushing. You can't make a play when you miss the end guy on the line of scrimmage. Kenny McIntosh has one hundred and forty three yards on the touchdown. Dejan Edwards has fifty yards. Kendall Milton thirty one. Stetson Bennett twenty five. Georgia six of twelve on third down. 365 total yards for the dogs. Three penalties for 33 yards. Some scores across the country. Clemson 26, Miami 10. Ohio State 33, Maryland 21. Louisville leads NC State 22 to 10. North Carolina's up 10 to nothing on Georgia Tech. So it looks like Tech will be coming into Athens with a 4-7 and seven record. Unless something crazy happens in that game from here. So punt teams on the field for Georgia. Fourth and one. Thorson's second punt of the game. First one went for 48 yards. Boy, me. Hard to run a sneak when they don't block the end man on the line. Go get a good kick here. Oh, oh God. Oh. He didn't call a fair catch, though. God, what are you doing? Just make it easy on him. Freshman. Was that green? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Nylon Green. What's he doing? Holy moly. If they score here and get an onside kick, I'm going to pass out. God knows. I mean, he, he just... didn't get shoved. What a terrible play for Nyland. I had to make one more first down. He didn't push him into him. Like, that's just a bad play from Nyland. I mean, what are you doing? Like, my bad. I was on the 25 instead of the 10. They're going to try to get these pass interference calls with some one-on-one -on -one shots on the edge. We need one sack. Holding. Go ahead and run out of bounds. The clock's still running. Yep. Should two twenty left in the game. Is that a first down? They're calling it a first down. Come on, Jalen, get in there. Now he can get out of bounds. Got playing dime here. Was that David Daniel David? Fort David Daniel Sisvan. Yeah. That's him. Ooh.
157 left, it's second and nine. And you'll give them eight yards pop clock running right now. Make the tackle. Ooh, clock, clock, clock. That's a terrible play call on their part. Yeah. Throw it deep, second and one. Fourth down, I think. Yeah, it is. It was third and one, and they went with this screen just got blown up. You can try to throw a little inside route here. Good play. Was that Lassiter? Victory formation. Whoo! Take the W and get your ass out of town. <laughs> Lester. He's the player of the game, I think. Between that play and then a couple of the tackles that he made on the edge in the mm. open field. Kenny Magan dodged too. Yeah, those two. <laughs> get on that plane and get in Athens before before 10 o'clock. <laughs> no one else can drop the snap here. Way things <laughs> going. Get the W. Well, everybody be ready. Hope you have a nice Thanksgiving and um, got a lot to be thankful for this Georgia team. I mean, tough game on the road. Made it tougher, but uh, it's a good W. We'll stick and see with what Kirby says here and then we'll wrap up quickly after that. But uh, another undefeated SEC season for Georgia can make it an undefeated regular season against Georgia Tech next week. We'll be heavily favored to do so. And uh, then on to the postseason as the, the number one team in the country. Ball game. This is one of those that they were nowhere near as good as Georgia can be, but the game really wasn't in doubt either. So, we'll level some move on to the NFL. Third team in SEC history to go 8 0 in the SEC two consecutive years. Alabama did it once and Florida did it. Here's Kirby. Kenny McIntosh getting some love. Good for Kenny. All right, dog fans, go get on Roddy and uh, Dane. Are you doing the show? Yeah, I'll I'll hop on there for a little while. Hey, but, it uh, was it was a good win. Uh, any win's a win, but uh, the fourth quarter was starting with the first play where we didn't make it. Uh, 
went backwards. But uh, hey, W <laughs> play of the game. They're saying is this uh, field goal that was well, and it, it really made a difference because they had the ball one more time. They could have scored. Yeah. True. Well, we're but, gonna wrap uh, up here. We want to say thank but, you to Yancey Brothers, to Bud Light next, to Athens Ford. For the head coach, Jim Donnan, I'm Dane Young. We will see you next week at noon for Georgia versus Georgia Tech. Thanks for watching. Plenty of coverage coming from Georgia's win over Kentucky here on UGASports.com.